we would next invite our panel to consider various proposals for individuals concerning blue biotechnology. Blue biotechnology is that which involves aquatic ecosystems. There's great potential here given that 70% of the Earth's biosphere is watery. And so there's great potential here. Here are some of the proposals for blue biotechnology for your consideration. There are a number of microorganisms and algae which can produce hydrogen gas as a product of photosynthesis. And these are being investigated for sources of energy, as are those which can produce biodiesel. And so it may be that the byproducts of microbial metabolism in aquatic environments serves as a fuel source for future energy needs. There are so many applications from the materials which we can obtain from aquatic organisms. We can use them in coagulating agents, adhesion agents, stabilizing agents, thickening and gelling agents. We can obtain all sorts of biomolecules such as vitamins, sterols, pigments, pharmaceuticals, alkaloids, polysaccharides, and a whole host of proteins including protease enzymes. And so a whole host of biological agents which we can use in industrial purposes can be obtained through aquatic life. The bacterium Thermus aquaticus likes high temperatures and the DNA polymerase it has thus can operate at high temperatures and this has been extremely useful for the procedure known as PCR which replicates DNA for applications as diverse as diagnosis of disease and analysis of evidence found at crime scenes.